Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. A uh, very short video but a positive encouragement for at least the Microsoft Access community. Can't go into all the details obviously it was part of the MVP summit which is subject to NDA so we can't talk about any of the content. I know we've seen some people slip on this but um, regardless I am happy to announce and this isn't just my doing but for years, and I mean years, probably even decades, at every single opportunity, and not just MVP summits, but whenever we speak to the dev team, whenever we speak to the project managers, we've been reiterating over and over and over the importance of having some front-facing PR. Something, a blog post, a web page, it doesn't make a difference what it is, but something that actively highlights the fact that access is still alive and being developed not just on life support and having bugs fixed from time to time but i mean that it is actually under development it's a software that microsoft actually cares in investing in and that has a future and at this latest mvp summit well we saw some results because within 24 hours of this being brought up yet again, we finally saw a major update of the Microsoft What's New in Access for Microsoft 365. And if you click on it now, you will see here a pretty accurate listing of everything that has been done in the recent uh, months or years. So you can now point, whether it be fellow developers that are saying, oh, Access is dead, or potential clients saying, oh, I don't wanna invest in Access, you know, it's a, it's a dead duck. Well, now you have an official Microsoft source that you can point them to, to illustrate that yes, things, things are moving forward. We're seeing, you know, new features implemented. Up until now, you've always had to rely on different MVP websites making posts. The issue there is we're not Microsoft. So we say what we know, what we're aware of, what we're allowed to share, but there are limits to what information we even have access to. And that also means sometimes we get things wrong. It happens. But this is coming straight from the mouth of Microsoft and uh, should hopefully help some of us, you know, dispel some of the some of the subject matter that access is dead. Now, that doesn't discount, are these the improvements Microsoft should be investing in? Uh, is this what the product needed? That's a whole other conversation. And anyone that follows my blog knows on what side of the fence I am when it comes to most of this. Uh, but regardless, we now have a clear web page that we can point to. I am really hoping that they will continue to work on this page and give links to each one of these uh, items to provide us with more detailed information such as well such as well what version what build number what flavor of access was this implemented or is it available on because this page is specifically for microsoft 365 the simple reality is much of this applies to other editions as well and then you get into okay other editions but under what build and then does it apply to 32-bit 64-bit you know you go down that whole uh, nasty path of trying to understand what applies where but we need that information clients users developers we need that information moreover we also would be really useful to have dates here because that would also help indicate how alive the product is you know this query and sql view is it something that was done in the last month or was it something done five years ago that isn't something that is clearly indicated currently and i'm hoping they will add it because it will help validate the fact that access is alive and well but this is a great first step let's hope they continue moving forward with this and as i have here um, let's hope they keep doing all these other things that we desperately need in the product but for once, a positive video, uh, you know, a little bit of headway made with Microsoft. Let's just keep hoping they keep working down this path of being open with the public, because that is one of Microsoft's biggest weaknesses, and especially with the Access team, is the amount of information we get, because uh, I don't want to harp on it, but let's just take a look at the Microsoft roadmap. This hasn't been updated in at least five months. So I don't know, but in five months, 
like this shouldn't even be appearing here because this was released, you know, a long time ago. What are they working on currently? If this is off of the table of development, what are they currently working on? We should be seeing that and we're not. And this has always been the problem with the roadmap. The roadmap is pretty much useless. We can also look at the official blog from Microsoft, which I was hoping was going to be much more dynamic over the years, but has proven me wrong. But basically what we get with every version is they publish a list of bug fixes but this never includes new features which i i don't get it's nice to know they fix bugs yes okay they're fixing bugs but that doesn't truly show that the product is alive that they're doing new things that they're implementing things that people have been requesting for years and that's where this page really comes in but this should have been part of this for years now they should have two clear sections in each of their blog posts and say, these were the bugs we fixed. These were the new features we implemented. Regardless of how big or small these features are, they are still new things that they implemented and it should have been flagged. They should be promoting this. They should be really proud of the work they do. I don't know why it's been such a battle and I'm not exaggerating for at least a decade, probably even two now to get them to be public about these things. But anyway, like I say, we finally made a little headway. Let's hope they keep going uh, on this and that this doesn't just stay here dormant now that they did a single update. Let's hope they do, I don't know, maybe a quarterly update. That would be really nice. And let's hope they push this website a little bit further and add links to detailed pages about each one, providing the necessary information for us to truly be able to understand what each one of these features are and on what versions, editions, bitness, etc. they will appear. It will help us also know when we go see clients that if you want this, well, you need to update to said build number. So yeah, great. Uh, thank you, Microsoft. And let's, uh, let's see more of this. So that's it for uh, this video. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and drop me a comment. What other things would you like to see Microsoft doing besides obviously developing new features? Yes, but what can they be doing from a public perspective to make access, I guess, better uh, in the eye of the public? So um, share any ideas you have, you know, if I can, I will try to pass them along to the dev team. I'm always open, constructive, criticism and ideas are always welcome and if they are valid and that they haven't been shared before because trust me mvps are very vocal i will be more than happy to try to pass them along and give credit where credit is due i'm not here to take credit for your ideas i will pass along where they came from but that will be it for this video take care everyone and have a great weekend